how much do homes cost in Hammond, Indiana? All right, we're gonna dive right into the data. So what we're looking at here is my MLS view. So as a realtor, our behind the scenes view. So what we're looking up first is we're looking up, this search shows the, the information for townhouses and half duplexes. So we got those in one bucket. And then we're going to look next at single family homes. So first we're looking at these, we see that there was only, I was surprised by this, in all of Hammond, which is huge, there's only eight townhouses or, or half duplexes, so indicating that most of their housing stock is single family. So there are eight that sold, it was, they were three bed, one bath, 1184 square feet on a very small lot, 0 0.08 acres. The year built 1967, Hammond is an older community, so you'll see that the housing is older. 115,000, which sold for really $95 per square foot. And the homes were on the market for 10 days before selling. So if you're thinking about selling, that's about what the market time is, which is really good. And this is always good to see too, the selling price, the lowest and the highest. So the minimum was a $100,000 listing. And then the highest was a $171,500 listing. And again, those are exclusive to townhouses and, and single family or townhouses and half duplexes and as we do this data what we're going to end up with is stay tuned to the end because i'm filling all this out as i do these videos and so at the end we'll come back to this and it's going to be all filled out and you can see all the housing stats for each community so all right so now we're going to go to change the search to single family homes and so with the single family homes, we're going to click these two boxes, get rid of townhouses, half duplexes, single family, preview, and there's gonna be way more. Yeah, there's 620 that sold in Hammond. So view results, then we can check the statistics on these. And doing so is going to tell us that, in a drum roll here, all right, so there were 620 that sold. And as we dive into these details, I just want to introduce myself. My name is Tony Anzer, a real estate agent serving Northwest Indiana and Chicagoland. So got you covered on Illinois or Indiana. Uh, we do, do these videos just to help our clients and people in the area just learn more about uh, buying and selling and living in Northwest Indiana and Chicagoland. So if you're looking to move for 90, 90 days, please reach out to us. That's why we do these videos. We love to uh, yeah, provide value to you guys and we love to help you with your buying and selling needs. So please reach out. We'd love to begin those conversations with you. And if you're going to be one favor, if you're getting any value from these videos, if you would just hit that subscribe button first, and yeah, it really helps with the channel. It boosts uh, how, how YouTube pushes out our videos. And then, uh, yeah, it really helps us out. And then we'll alert you when we put out new videos, which is weekly. All right, so 620 that were sold. Same thing here, we're gonna look at the median data. So 620, those are, so median house was three bed, one bath, 1400 square foot on a 0.14 acre lot. 1948 was the median year build. Uh, we're looking here at selling price, 167,500, which puts it at about $117,000. Again, it's always fun to see the, the low. So the min was 32.5, so that house, wasn't livable. That was a fixer upper for sure. And the highest sale was 615,000. And for the median house here, you see that it was 11 days was mark average market, median market time, which is really good. And again, that's from sign in the yard to uh, accepted contract. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to take a look at these houses, not all of them. We're gonna look at like say three or four or five houses and that will just show you what your money buys at different price points in Hammond. All right, this home here, three bed, one bath, uh, about 1,100 square foot, 549 Detroit Street, Hammond. So this sold for 80,000. And we'll see this guy again. This is gonna be pretty typical housing stock we're gonna see. So this guy obviously need quite a bit of love, but the layout is going to be, oh wow, that must need a lot of work. Oh, well, that's it, I'm gonna go back to that one. That's an interesting uh, arrangement right there. <laughs> It's like they did some demo. That house needs to be pretty much gutted and redone. So that's 80,000. Here's 110,000 uh, price point, four bed, one bath. This square footage, I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be correct. It says 4,030. It's only got one photo. All right. All right, here we have 6804 California Avenue with three bed, two bath, 3270 square feet. So that's gonna include the lower level at that square footage. You can tell from looking at it, $155,000. 
So let's take a look at this guy. All brick. Again, these floor plans you're going to see have a pretty similar theme from the vintage that these houses were built. So you got a Cape Cod style on the upper level. So a little basement here. Need some love too. So the house needs a bit of fix up, but that's what 150 gets you. Now we'll jump up. All right, we got 915 Lion Street, a $210,000, two bed, one bath, 1600 square foot house. So this one should be in better shape than the last ones we were looking at. Oh yeah, that kitchen's redone. House is redone nicely. Uh, we can see these floor plans are pretty typical. And you can see that some of this was photoshopped. Yeah. But yeah, nice, decent sized backyard. And so that was what a hundred and or yeah, two hundred and ten thousand. And all right, we'll go up to one last higher price point. All right, unfortunately, the available photos for other houses are not that good because there's a cyber attack that knocked out a lot of uh, photos. So this guy is the last one on a higher price point. I wanted to show a higher one, but this one's two hundred fifty-five thousand, five bed, three bath, twenty-four hundred square foot home, and it just has one photo here. But anyway, that gives you an idea of housing stock at different price points. Now the moment you've all been waiting for, the summary spreadsheet that shows the values by town. So you can freeze frame this if you want to dig into it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort this. I'm going to pause and sort the data so you can see from least expensive town to most expensive town. So one second. All right, so you can see it's sorted by least expensive to most expensive. I won't read the values here. You can do that, but I will just summarize what they are. So it's the least expensive is Hammond, then Whiting, then Hobart, Griffith, Merrillville, Highland, Portage, Chesterton, Lowell, Munster, Valpo, Cedar Lake, Dyer, Crown Point, Sherrillville, and St. John. Hey, my info's on the screen and in the description below. I'd be honored to help you in your buying and selling journey. Please reach out if I can be an assistance. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you around town.